Hey guys, another episode of Guaranteed Country. My name's Justin. We are in central Illinois, and uh, you've seen the last couple videos. We are making our way around from one gravel pit to the next. So we finished up gravel pit number two, on to number three. So you can see here, we got ourselves another big den and it's active. There's plenty of fresh mud, fresh tracks. So I'll give you guys my game plan here of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a 330 in and do some fencing. They're coming up right there and I will about put money on it. We're gonna smack one right there in that spot. And then we'll have to see what we got going on here. Possibly we'll do a 330 there and then also right here as well because they're coming up over here there's tracks um and then we'll see if they have any areas that they're coming out of the water and we will um maybe try to put a drowning set in as well so let's get to it and see what we can come up with i sure do like middle of the day when it's a little warmer it's it nice and brisk all right, got those on. I'll take you guys along with me here. Let's try to do this without falling. This will be fun hauling a beaver back up out of this. All right. Well, Mr. Beaver, if you want to uh, come up and pack mud, that is perfectly fine. You're just gonna have to go through a 330 first. Also gonna try not to get into said 330. Right under the water. Take our safeties off here and then I'll show you guys what we're dealing with. We gotta put some fencing in and that will prevent them. All right, I gotta find a log or something solid here that we can, I think, oh yeah, that is. Not gonna go anywhere. All right, so you can see we're tying off our trap get it in the water and now let's get a couple sticks stick them in here for some fencing that yeah, looks like a nice one good part about beavers they uh, they have plenty of sticks around if I had to guess based on this size there is going to be two. There's going to be two beavers in here, two good sized ones. All right. Okay. There you go, Mr. Beaver. You got one good way to go through, and it involves a trap. So right up here where they're packing mud, they're gonna go right through that. And you push that down just a smidge. There we go, came up a bit. Perfect. Oh man. All right, I'll do it on this side. Let's go investigate the other side. All right, guys. I think we're gonna start with that. It looks like they are extremely active trying to put stuff on top, mud and debris. So I have both sides going up. I'm sure there's a channel, of, there has to be, of course, channels going out. It might be under this muck. I'm not gonna deal with that today. I'm fairly confident uh, we're gonna hammer we're gonna hammer one just with those two. 
So we're gonna do those today. Here up high, main feed bed, and got both sides fenced off. They still can go up there. Ideally, I need to have a 330 there fenced off. But we're gonna try this for tonight and see what we end up with. I appreciate you guys watching. Hey guys, first check. You saw we got everything set yesterday. Super windy. Apologize. Let's take a look. Holy smokes. Oh guys, I already see we got a nice big one. That set isn't touched. But right there is a big old stinking beaver. So let's get down there. Look like a really good beaver. We'll get it taken out. Actually got to be, it looks like a little bit of ice on there. All right. Let's check out this guy. So I saw on uh, video footage um, from my trail cam, looked like there was a beaver up here after this one that got smacked, or excuse me, that was up packing mud. This is a really nice beaver. Really nice, big, mature one. Bent the crap out of my H stand. All right. Holy smokes, I've never had one get bent that bad. Yeah. Well, good part about it, they'll fold right back into place. Dang. That's a good, uh, that's a good, big, mature, central Illinois beaver. Get him taken out. Switch hands. Where's my safety at? There it is. It's a good one. Good sized tail on them. There's one of what I'm guessing is two, like I said yesterday, right behind the neck. That's a nice big mature, <laughs> that's a big beaver. trick. Well, I might not even set all my other traps if, uh, if I can hammer these two. Especially the other side's not touched. So fingers crossed, might get this next one tonight. Big old sucker did a did a number on my uh, on the springs. Kind of wondering, I don't know where that other beaver came from that we got to build. But we know there's for sure another one. Well, guys, you can see we got the one big one, and I'm fairly certain that might beat the old record for the biggest one we've got so far. That is a nice size. Sorry, car went by. That is a huge beaver. Heck yes, can't wait to get him on the scale and see what he weighs. So that's a good one. We'll uh, get him put into the back of the truck and we're gonna hope for another couple, hopefully. And we're gonna get all these beavers in check. I appreciate you guys watching. All right guys, we're out here. It is been a couple days since we've got a catch um, on the beavers. 
as you saw earlier in the video, we got that 57 pounder um, that was biggest beaver I've ever caught. Um, but we have some horrible weather, uh, some snow and ice, and then frigid temperatures coming in. So this will be our last check. We're gonna pull our sets. And uh, if we don't have the female today, then she can live to see another day. And maybe we'll come back in the spring and try to get her.